Living full time in an RV may look like a lot of fun, but have you ever wondered what life is like behind the glam? It may surprise you, or it may not. So let's talk about our first two weeks on the road as full-time RVers. But first, I gotta pack up because we head to Big Bend, Texas this weekend. We're currently down in Alamo, which is about as far south in uh, Texas as you can go. We got 650 miles to go this weekend and we gotta get moving. It's about nine o'clock now, so I'm just gonna spend the next hour packing up everything. When we first heard that you could live out of your camper, we thought of being out in the wild with beautiful views each and every morning with a Milky Way sky every night. And traveling as often as we wanted, we expected to be away from crowded cities. Honestly, just imagine the most picturesque utopia in the middle of nowhere surrounded by mountains and lakes. That's what we expected. But our first two weeks so far was, let me say, slightly off from our imagination. In all honesty, I would say about 80% of what we expected is what we got. And the reason I say this is because we knew when setting the route, our first stop wasn't going to be some eventful magical stop. We went expecting to take that stay and catch up on organizing, getting to know our rig, and simply making it home. And with our nine to fives, yep, that's kind of how we pay the bills. We knew it wouldn't leave much time to go out Adventure Alamo as much as we wanted. So let's talk for a second about the pros of RV living that we have noticed so far. Starting with the scenery changes every two weeks. So every two weeks we're on the move, we get to see something different. Secondly, we get to travel south for the winter. Home for us is back in North Carolina, but being able to head south for the winter has definitely been a welcomed change. And lastly, exposure to new experiences and customs. We're getting used to South Texas, and yes, everything is bigger and flatter out here. But now you may be wondering, what are some of the cons that come along with this lifestyle? And one thing we do not want to do is glamorize and put a set of rose gold glasses on what we do because it's definitely a big adjustment. Starting with, you don't have unlimited hot water. Our rig runs on propane to heat up our water. Luckily for us, it does come with two 30 pound propane tanks, which will last us a good bit. You have to empty out your tanks. You probably have heard this if you've done any research about it, but for us, we have two swords connections, a gray one black one on our connection one and a gray two tank on our second connection. And I have to change these hoses about every two to three days when one fills up. For us, it was a big life change. Though we had planned it for a while, it was still a big adjustment even coming from an apartment. You guys who sell the house to live on the road, I have nothing but mad respect for you. Also, all the gas that's involved. Thankfully, gas has been on a downward trend for a while now, but it still costs us around 500 bucks to go from Charlotte North Carolina all the way down to Alamo, Texas. But other than that, if you can prepare and adjust for these things, you're going to be just fine. We just got to Big Ben and we just got settled in. We get to take some time and I want to talk to you guys about if we would do this all over again, knowing the pros, knowing the cons, knowing what we expected, knowing what we got versus what we expected. Would we do this all over again if it was this time last year when we were planning everything? And 100%, I would say yes. I mean, it's not without its faults. It's not without its downsides, don't get me wrong. There are some times where you just don't feel like moving. You don't feel like getting up and doing anything. You want to sleep in, you want, you're want tired, whatever. Or you just want to stay where you're at. Like this spot in Big Bend, we just got here and we're already thinking about like, hey, how can we extend our stay? It's just so beautiful. As you saw on the ride over here, it is just a gorgeous spot to be in. This is our first time, so we're pretty excited. What about you? What, what would you do? Would you be in here again? I absolutely, 100%. I catch sunrises out here. I didn't have to wake up ridiculously early just to be able to catch the sunrises here. It's beautiful. We just Got to step outside our RV, catch a sunrise, come back in, make some coffee, and we're gonna make some breakfast right now. So guys, feel free to subscribe to the channel to keep up with us on all our travels, and we will do like tutorials, pros and cons of the lifestyle itself. So we will see you guys in the next video, which we're gonna talk about Big Bend and the towns around it itself. So peace out, much love, catch you in the next one.